all right my people welcome back on to this channel okay thanks so much for subscribing to this channel my people our prayer has been that the good lord will continue to support you all in all your endeavors amen all right my people hmm, this is another one well so strong so strong or the dua nation no going back that's what the people are still talking about on this one well my people this is another news reaching us right now hmm, this news is a very strong wrong one and they're talking about the condition of bola hamed tinumbu hmm. you know for a very long time right now bola hamed tinumbu had been on the move that he wants to become the next president of nigeria all right my people and the right now as it stands hmm, the yoruba nation agitator well we have Yoruba nation agitators and then one of them hmm, this man came out right now and he has said a lot of things and then everything he has said so far are so meaningful yes they are so meaningful to the extent that majority of people have been of the opinion that wow right on man you are just on point and then what are those things he has said yes so and then according to him he said stop pushing bola hamed tinumbu bola hamed tinumbu is not fit to become the president of of nigeria in fact at his age this man needs to be resting <laughs> he said a lot of things and then he called out names he called out mc uluomo he called out coco zaria he called out the children of bola ahmed tunumbu hmm. in fact he called out a uh, one man called Obanla elizabeth <laughs> in canada all right and uh, right now i said that he is going to sue all of them if anything venture happens to bola hamed tinumbu <laughs> do you know what that means <laughs> all right so and then onto his words he has said that at the age at the you no know, at the look of bola hamed tinumbu he is not fit because this man is not feeling too well we can all see that his hands are shaking <laughs> all right he said his hands are shaking he has bad legs this man is not fit to become the next president but this set of people are just pushing him why are you pushing this man that if anything ventures happen to this man yoruba nation will sue you all because yoruba nation needs bola ahmed tudumbu all right and the meanwhile he called out all the children of bola ahmed tudumbu hmm. in fact he called out the uh, what's called yaloja talking about fola shade tudumbu right now that why can't you if i thought they are pushing your father is he not your father since you are not a bastard you should have called out your father and then advise him that hmm, daddy hmm, this one that these people are pushing you we, we know you are not fit please just stop all this hey <laughs> kurukere all right my people well we call it kurukere he said right now as he stands right now this man hmm, this man called uh what was it called he made mention of mc uluomo he said this set of people they are just after your money they are pushing you because if this if you happen to be their father <laughs> if Bola Ahmed Tunumbu happens to be their father, they will never know force him to say, Oh, go and be trying all this because this the presidency of a thing is not an easy tax. And then, as you can see on your screen right now, this man you are looking at actually said a lot of things about the situation on ground. He said, We don't like Tunumbu, doesn't mean that we want him to die. <laughs> That's another strong one. We don't like him doesn't mean we want him to die and they're not that we don't like him but just for the fact that he is not doing the right thing at the right time right now and then until this he has said that the old Jewa nation yoruba nation needs bola made to numbu more than how or whatever way anyone needs him right now that all these people mc olu or makoko zaria and uh, obanla elizabeth in canada all these people they are just after his money they are just pushing him this man is not fit to do all these things you are pushing him to do and then you know he said that okay fine if at all they are pushing this man what about his children at least you have children why are, why is it that your children cannot call you to order that that you hmm, this thing that you are trying to you are involving yourself in it can never favor you these people just want to kill you please try and drop all these uh, presidency wahala and then 
take care of yourself because as it stands right now according to what the man has said and actually the man is just on point he said a lot of things he said just you know take a look at where you are coming from when you check your bank account you have all it takes to take care of yourself forever till infinity but look at you are just no you're not just not fit for this don't let these people keep pushing you because these people will just keep pushing you till hmm, only God knows. Hmm, we pray nothing bad happens to you. And the majority of people have actually supported this man and they have said that, yes, Mr. Man, you are just on point. Bola Metunumbu does not deserve all this. And then at the same time, you have a wife. Your wife should have called you to order. How much do you need to spend till you will die that you are putting yourself in this trouble? <laughs> How much do you need? At least all the money you have gathered, all the money you have, you can use all this money to take care of yourself. Right now, your hands are shaking. You don't have good legs. Your hands are shaking. Your bladder is you know, affected. To the extent you are urinating in public on your body. Stop following these people. And then these sort of people are like, we are not joking with you. You, um, Siolo, Makoko Zaria, and uh, Obanla, Elizabeth, even the children. We are not joking with you people. We need Bola Metunumbu more than anything in Yoruba nation. We need him. You people should just you know leave him alone for us. Because if anything bad happens to this man, we are going to sue you, my brother. <laughs> Is this not interesting? I know a lot of people be like, ah, not true, not true. You see, this is what we are talking about. In public, this man is not fit. And then meanwhile, he came out, mm, Bola Tinubu came out the other time. He was saying he is a youth. If you want to calculate his age right now, <laughs> at least it's more than 75. There's no two ways about it. So someone who is more than 75 years, see, he's still telling us that he is a youth. The other time he was saying that he is not seeking for a brick laying position. He's not seeking for a hard job. He is, you no, know, he's experienced. He knows what he's doing. He's capable, according to Bola Metunumbu, that he is very capable. He's not coming out to seek for a strong job. Hey, hey, brotherly Babala, I pity some people where they say they no not understand. Where thank God, don't give them. Because right now, God, don't give you that power. Make you, no, make you utilize them well. Just enjoy yourself. But you won't use the power to conjure yourself. <laughs> you won't use and conjure yourself. Now, so we don't see them onto this matter. Majority of people have actually been of the opinion that hmm, Mr. Man, hey, Bola Metunumbu, go and take care of yourself. You don't need all this stress. Abba, you don't need all this stress. All the money you have, use it to take care of yourself and be in good health. Hmm. Instead of disgracing yourself everywhere. Well, meanwhile, the Yoruba Nation agitators have insisted that if anything happens to Bola Metunumbu, we are going to sue the people that are pushing him. Oh, you better. Hmm, try as much as possible leave this man alone because Yoruba nation needs him all right my people and this is what it is right now on to this one a lot of people have something to chip in onto this one meanwhile let me have your own take on this my people and remember to subscribe for more updates if you are new on this channel all right thanks and god bless